Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is uh, episode series. Uh, this is probably be one episode here. Um, as you notice, I've got some nice bright yellow gloves. I um, like the rubber gloves a lot um, because they have this tacky feel rubber that really grips uh, uh, paper, other material. Um, if you're if you can be really docile with your hands, you can actually use this just about anything, as you've seen me do. Anyways, um, what I got here is a 50-foot outdoor extension cord, 10 gauge. Um, it says here uh, 125, 15 amps. I don't know if that's the standard or that's the max, but uh, I'll I'll test it out because uh, and the reason I'm getting this. And this is my hand, just to give you an idea of reference and size. There you go. Well, not that it matters, uh, because it's all bundled up. It could be any size. But it, it is heavy. Um, gosh, it must weigh um, 15 pounds, at least. And so um, the reason I got a 10 gauge is um, to run a line out. First of all, enough thickness here to carry that electricity. But I want to do something because I, I was in the field here. Um, not really field, but if you've seen my other series, um, you've seen um, you've seen probably me do some bondo work on a friend's house uh, where I did a field test um, of well uh, my sander, which is right right in here. Of course the sander. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a link up on there. And not only the sander, but I also did uh, the field test on the on this nailer right here. Let me walk around here real quick. So you get a good view of it. So there you go. And of course you know you know what this is, right? Brought to you by our friendly neighborhood, um, whatever. Anyways, I uh, did a field test on this, and you know, if I did a field test on that, I and I'll put a link up on there if y'all haven't seen it yet. Um, did a field test on this as well, and I used this air compressor. There you go. This air compressor, three gallons, uh, point, I believe, gosh, what was it, point six at 90 and then one CFM at 40? Uh, well, I use this three gallon air compressor to basically shoot one nail with this nail gun and uh, it's a three-in-one and I still got the labels on it and everything let's see, let's see, let's see get focus there we go three-in-one framing nailer so the 20 uh, 24 28 21 and I bought uh, I bought these nails with it and this is for the 34 angle so I had to make the adjustment and uh, it's a 10 gauge here, uh, electro galvanized, and that's specifically why I, I got it. Um, was having some uh, fascia problems over there, uh, my friend's house, in which I had to do some repair work, um, nailing the fascia back onto uh, some of the rafters. And so, um, you know, I could pound some nails in, but I was in a awkward position to, to do that. You know, when you're on the ladder and it's above you, really hard to get a good nail in. Um, plus I wanted to really own one of these. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, I'll put a link onto those so you get to see that. But I noticed one thing was um, I also had this big guy out here too. Just in case my um, my nail gun the three uh, gallon wouldn't work. So, 
Um, so that's kind of why. But what I found was that uh, my friend's house is kind of old, 30 years old, and she had an outdoor outlet. She wasn't home at the time. And I was up there. I did all my sanding of the Bondo. Made it look really good on the fascia. Um, gosh, you got to see it. I mean, it was it was horrible. It was uh, when I was trying to Bondo this the fascia, especially at the corners. There were there was nothing at the corner to to really work with. I had to just put several layers of Bondo to make it work. But anyways, I was gonna do the prime. I was priming it with primer, you know, paint, um, exterior latex. And uh, of course, I had to use this compressor to work with my spray gun. I wanted it to look really nice, so I wanted to spray it. Um, problem is, um, it was a 15 amp breaker. It must have been uh, because it, the motor did not turn over. And I'll and I'll show you what I'm talking about uh, because uh, if I use, matter of fact, if I use this extension cord with that air compressor, it's not going to turn over. It, it won't turn over because I've, I've tried it. If you've seen my other episode on the air compressor, uh, I'll put a link onto that and you can see it. But I'll, I'll do it here as well, and so you go, you all get to see it. But it just the motor will not turn over. It just needs more juice because if you look at this cord, if you look how thick this cord is, where's the where's the cord? Okay, so if you look how thick this cord is, it's pretty pretty big. Like comparative to this extension cord. I don't know if you can see that, but the difference in size. It's because it's black on black here, but maybe that's going to help. It's it's thicker. I mean, you can you can see the difference. Oh, let's see if I can get it to stay up here. You can you can see the difference in thickness. Yeah, you can see it now. It's just a lot thicker, so must have a higher gauge for a reason. So I couldn't get the thing to go. That's a, that was the point. So got this, and if you're really smart, you know how to use uh, the discounts. Um, you also know that uh, you know you got 30 days if you find a better coupon to work with to get a better discount. Um, so 90 days if they flat out just put it on sale and it's a much lower than what you bought it for, uh, take it back uh, and get your, get a lower price, you know, and, uh, that's kind of why I like, uh, shopping at, uh, let me see if I, oh, there you go, that's why I like shopping over here, because I don't mind giving you money back. Uh, which I really appreciate. So anyways, uh, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and let's test this thing out because I specifically got it because I want to see if I could run it from Mike's outlet and uh, see if it works because that way um, if I have to go back to my friend's house and her outdoor extension does not, um, her exterior outlet does not have enough amps. I need a, at least probably a 20 amp to make it work Hers is probably 15, um, so I think in a garage it's going to be a 20, and I'm probably going to use an extension cord. So that's why I got this. So let's uh, let's get going on this, shall we? And I was kind of playing with my welder here. Uh, 90 amp, the 90 amp welder. If you want to, if you all want to take a look at that, I, did, I got an episode series on that too. If you want to check it out. A lot of toys here, a lot of fun things to do. So let's go ahead and do this. And let me just go ahead and, of course, you know where you're going. Let me strap in here. 